Once upon a time, there was a little village, and in the village there was a school, and a house, and a station. The railway that ran from the station went to a big town at one end of the line, and a little seaside village at the other. That's where Alice is going today. Here she is, look. Hurry up, Alice, says her mother. On the platform, they met Mr. Timpson. Where are you off to today? Alice is visiting her grandmother. Have you remembered your ticket? asked Mr. Timpson. My ticket, said Alice. I knew I'd forgotten something. And she ran off home again to fetch it. Oh, dear. She'd better hurry, thinks Mr. Timpson. Alice ran back out of her house, but in her hurry to get the train, she crossed to the wrong platform. Dear me, thinks Mr. Timpson, that train's going to the big town. Before he could stop her, Alice had climbed aboard the wrong train. There goes the other train as well. Here is the big town the other end of the line. Look at all the busy people. This town has a church, and a pub, and a greengrocer, and of course a station. This station gets very busy indeed. Look at all the people rushing about. Alice felt very confused, so went to ask a workman what to do. When's the next train back, please? she asked. Why, well, it appears that you've just missed it, said the workman. Oh no! exclaimed Alice, as her train rolled out of the station again. Well, there was only one thing to do. Go and have a look at the big town. As Alice rounded the corner, she saw a lot of commotion going on. What on earth's happened here? she asked. This chap's been hit by a tractor. It's my fault, said the man. I was crossing the road and I didn't look both ways. Don't worry, though. We've called an ambulance. And here comes the ambulance. Seeing that everything was under control, Alice left the group to go and see Mr. Gregson, the greengrocer. I'd like to buy some fruit, please asked Alice. Certainly. Here we have apricots, bananas, avocados, cherries, tomatoes, lettuce, salad, and melons. What would you like? Hmm, thought Alice as she looked over the fruit. Three apricots, I think, please. One, two, three, said Mr. Gregson, and he handed the packet to Alice. Thank you very much. Have a good day, wished Mr. Gregson. Alice didn't have to wait long at the station for the next train to turn up. This was the train that she would get. As Alice rushed to find a seat, the engine men uncoupled the locomotive from the train to run it round to the front. And it wasn't long before the train was ready to depart again.
Alice felt terribly silly as the train pulled back into her home village station. She hoped Mr. Timson wouldn't see her in the carriage. But she needn't have worried, for the train drew out once again, and they were on their way to her grandma's. This section of the line was particularly pretty as it ran along the sea front. And finally, the train drew into the little platform halt where Alice's grandma lived. Grandma, cried Alice, how lovely to see you. I've brought you some apricots. You're very late, said Grandma. I'll tell you all about it on the way home, said Alice. The train then drew out of the station to complete its journey. The End